So this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. Not the Ultra, not the Plus, the regular S8 priced at $699 US dollars. It comes with all the basic features of a typical tablet, but also takes those features and makes them even better by including a better high definition screen, a faster processor, an included S Pen, and more. Not so long ago, your boy made an unboxing video, so if you want to see my reaction, you can click the link up here. But now after some time of using it, I'm ready to give you guys my full review. In this video, I'll talk briefly about the tablet specs, tell you what I think, as well as focusing on how this tablet works with note taking, gaming, and overall productivity. If you've been following me on this channel for a while, you know I'm a pretty proud iPad user. It works great for my overall workflow as a college student, but I also own a few budget Samsung tablets like the A7 Lite and the A8. But this is the first time I'll be getting something that's considered higher end on Samsung's lineup of tablets. So if you haven't known already, my name's Rich. I like making all sorts of tech content here on YouTube. So please hit that subscribe button. And with all that being said, let's talk about it. So right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, the S8 is going to be the cheapest tablet on their S8 lineup. So unfortunately, it's not going to come with that super AMOLED screen that's on the Ultra. But without a doubt, the 2560 by 1600 p screen on the S8 is still visually appealing to see. This is definitely, I would say, sharper, a little bit sharper than the iPad Air and the iPad Minis. It's the same resolution as my MacBook Air, which is already sharp enough for, you know, normal day-to-day -day usage. Not only that, the colors are vibrant on the S8 giving us an accurate but enjoyable screen to use. But what puts this tablet above any other tablet right now in terms of its price to features ratio is that it has a 120 hertz display and oh man, this is really nice. The 120 hertz display means that you're getting approximately 120 frames per second on this device. It looks buttery smooth and when scrolling through the user interface, I feel speedy and confident. Navigating through Samsung's menu feels very fluid and smooth. Overall, the display experience is nice, especially at this price point. The iPad Air and the iPad Minis don't even come with a 120Hz screen. You have to buy the Pro just to get that. And for me, that's more than enough on the S8. Other than that, the build of the S8 feels very premium. The rear of the tablet is relatively featureless with the camera and the S Pen charging port grabbing your eye when you see the back. Each tablet comes in three color options. I had to get graphite, unfortunately. I wanted the pink version, but you know, my local Best Buy only had this one. It has a smooth satin finish, which feels great on the hand without attracting too much fingerprints and dust. The antenna bands are wrapped neatly around the ends of the tablet. The bottom edge of the tablet has a USB-C charging port. There are speakers on both sides, top and bottom of the tablet, which gives it a nice stereo sound. On the right side has a power and volume buttons. On the left side has a docking port for you to mount a keyboard on it if you'd like. Unfortunately, I do not have the keyboard. I was able to use it on my local Best Buy. And let me tell you, it's actually really cool if you want to turn your Tab S8 into maybe like a pseudo laptop. But for me, I didn't really need it. I do most of my work on my MacBook already. But if you're someone that wants to type a lot on this tablet, maybe you don't have a machine for that, uh, I would recommend getting a tablet keyboard. All right, so let's talk about performance. <laughs> How much power can this S8 produce? Well, first off, it's running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU. This is the same CPU across all the S8s like the Ultra and the Plus. So you're gonna be getting the same blazing fast speeds as you would across all the devices. The eight core CPU chip clocked at three gigahertz can almost be considered like desktop power performance on paper. Yes, I know this is not gonna be anywhere near those gaming PCs out there right now, but it translates pretty well for normal usage. Everything from scrolling across the user interface feels fast, fluid, and snappy. I haven't noticed a single slowdown yet as this device is still pretty new and I don't expect it to get any slower by the end of this year or next year. The Snapdragon chip is really promising as it's able to last for a really long time. Samsung's S10 Plus had the Snapdragon 855 CPU and until this day there's hardly any slowdowns whatsoever. The device is still chugging through. Additionally, the S8 features a super fast connectivity of Wi-Fi 6E and an all-day battery to help breeze through the day whether you're working, streaming, or gaming. So no need to worry, the Tab S8 is going to stay and is going to stay here for a while. Speaking about gaming, like I said, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU is very capable of running day-to-day -day tasks, but when it comes to gaming on the S8, it's not even a question. The S8 performs terrific in all sorts of games, from simpler games like Cut the Rope to more graphically intense games like Asphalt 9 Legends. The S8 can power through it all. 
Right here, you can see some footage of me playing Asphalt 9, and it's running really smooth here, around 30 frames per second. Shaders look nice, the settings are turned up. No hiccups, no lag spikes whatsoever, nothing I feel like is gonna be detrimental to my gameplay. And even playing on this for more than an hour, I didn't feel like the tablet got any hotter to the point where it was uncomfortable. It stayed relatively cool. It is pushing a lot of power through this device, so the battery did drain a little bit, which I'll talk about a little later. But overall, gaming on this is terrific. I mean, you can handle just about any games you throw at it so no need to worry it's very enjoyable and it feels great on the hand too partly because of its great design on the rear of the s8 is a 13 megapixel main camera with a 6 megapixel ultra wide option for when you need a little bit more in your shots i had the time to test this out and the results were what you expect for a tablet of this type the photography won't match you know the newest and latest and greatest samsung smartphones but it's still strong enough for any pictures on the instagram and further apps such as augmented reality experiences so Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at some test footage right now. Yo guys, here's a camera test of the Galaxy Tab S8. Uh, here it's in selfie mode. It's actually doing a really nice job with this ultra wide sensor. Um, as you can tell, I love the camera being on top of the tablet rather than being on the side, maybe something from like an iPad because when you're using this in landscape mode, uh, you could really get the you know accuracy of our eyes to look at the camera. So overall, pretty decent job um, focusing is not bad, not bad, but hey, here it is. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. Nice. I mean, <laughs> here's my backyard. Got damaged by the thunderstorm, but as you can see here, full 1080p footage, really, really nice. So as far as note taking and productivity, I'm actually really enjoying the Tab S8. There are a lot of note taking apps out there, but I found that using the Notes app from Samsung felt the best in terms of speed, usability, and features. Samsung Notes has pretty much everything we need to take notes, to draw, and more. I find it a little bit better to take notes here as compared to Apple Notes. Uh, Samsung's menu bar makes more sense in my opinion. You can select almost any tool. It's easy to use. They tell you what tool you're using and how to get there. Drawing on here is fun and intuitive. The S Pen is light while also being very responsive. And since it is lighter than the Apple Pencil, I do feel less fatigue after using this for long periods of time, especially when it comes to taking notes for school. Plus, I do love Samsung's take on adding these fake sound effects, uh, as you can hear. When I use this for school, I can take notes that are fast and reliable. If you really want to get creative with it and Samsung notes are holding you back, there are plenty of apps out there on the Google Play Store like Sketchbook, which is beyond my knowledge. So go have fun with it. All of you artists out there, people that are way more talented than me, I can only draw stick figures at this point. This is a great tool to have. You know, drawing on it is really nice. But again, uh, Samsung, thank you for including an S Pen like right out of the packet. That eliminates the stress for me to go spend the extra money to go buy one. Overall, the Galaxy Tab S8, in my opinion, is an amazing tablet at this price point. Some of the key features that you're getting here is a sharp 120 hertz display, that powerful Snapdragon 8 chip with eight cores in the CPU and three gigahertz. Also, you get an included S Pen and all for what $699 I think that's priced pretty fair I like this tablet I like it a lot a little bit more so than the iPads at this price range for now the tab s8 is great for all my daily needs and can handle a lot of these hard you know applications when it comes to gaming and long-term use for productivity and note-taking it works well the battery life though it's it's fair it does have a lower battery capacity than the Ultras, coming in at around 8,000 milliamps. So through my tests, it was able to last me the whole entire day from 100% uh, for six to seven hours and by the end of the night I was around 35% so I had a little bit left juice to carry me on to the next day. So you can expect around you know a total of eight to eleven hours of this device but keep in mind I also played a lot of games on here and took a few notes. Uh, all those apps combined plus Google Chrome watching YouTube they uh, they definitely added up to you know draining the battery percentage down. It's not as good as the iPads right now but I do have to give it to Samsung that 120 hertz display that refresh rate uh, definitely is taking a toll on the battery so it's not the greatest out there so a few months down the road uh, a few years I would kind of be a uh, little skeptic on how long it would last um, if the battery capacity is like this right now who knows what it might be in a few months or so but that's my only concern overall this is a really great tablet Samsung did a phenomenal job with the S8 this year highly recommend it for artists workers creatives and even if you aren't these professional people uh, maybe you just want a normal tablet 
this is a great one. This is a great one for, you know, you. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you have this. Are you looking at getting the Tab S8? Did you have the Tab S7, the S6, or anything before this? Um, tell me, are you wanting to upgrade? Talk to me down in the comments below. Tell me anything. I'd love to talk to you guys. I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna heart it. Go ahead, the comment section's all you. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be making more videos on the Tab S8 later. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. But that's all I have for this week's video. So until next one, I'll see you guys then.